My name's Peter. I'm a pensioner. I lost my wife about three months ago. She passed away with cancer. Once you get over the heartache of that, then reality sets in and your financial situation and everything else gets sort of cut in half and you've got just enough to live on really. Sometimes until I get my next pension, there's three or four days when I've just got no money. It's basically beans on toast. service it is like the stopgap between a food bank and a cheap supermarket but it's just the convenience of it actually coming to you I've had to use a food bank a few times now but that's about three or four miles away I mean I haven't got a car this is sort of a couple of streets away so it's just a fantastic service everything's in here you can get in a shop anyway but it's all been slightly reduced so for me it's an invaluable service we stop at several different communities throughout South Tyneside, anywhere where we think that people will be able to use the bus for one, and also where it's going to make an impact in that area. We've got a different range of people that come in, but a lot of the areas that we go to are the deprived areas, so we can provide a service that's for the limited means that they've got that we can offer them some decent food. We've got school uniforms for the kids. We've got book exchange upstairs. It gives people a little bit of happiness to see us turn up. We want to provide a genuine retail experience so that people feel like it's a completely dignified environment where they have choice and freedom to make maybe better decisions about what, what might be a cheaper way to do this to make dinner tonight. On these shelves here, you can see these are just regular household kind of products. So, you know, lentils, rice, pasta. Um, if it's very cheap, it's probably came from food waste, so end of line or changing branding. Um, if it's a kind of more regular price, we've probably bought that from the wholesaler and we're selling that at cost. So, for example, cup of soup, 175, we must have paid 150. So we're selling it, we're not making a profit on that at all. These are extended ranges, so tomato sauce I think typically you'd be looking at £2.50 in a supermarket it's 50 pence because that has an extended best before date on and part of what we want to do is educate people that best before um, doesn't have to go in the bin <laughs> best before is fine over here um, we've got fruit and vegetables which is a really important part of what we do helping to bring you know nutritious food to um, areas of food deserts where perhaps they've not got access to fresh fruit and vegetables where corner shops generally don't carry a lot of um, fresh produce. This bus is just ideal for me. Me and my husband are both retired. We both have state pensions and he's also on PIP because he had an operation done on, on his legs and he's not able to walk now. So this is ideal for us, you know, it means I can leave him in the house, come over here, get some stuff and go back and he's fine. It makes life so much easier. This isn't a food bank, this is a shop by, you know, any other standard. And if you are interested in making your money go further, come on board. If you're worried about food waste, come on board. If you want to make local connections or you're a bit isolated and want to chat and have a coffee with some, you know, with other like-minded people, come on board. This is open to absolutely everybody um, and we hope that it, it, it makes a difference to everyone that comes on board.